So one comment I've gotten a lot of on my MochaPod video is that I don't know what the hell I'm doing because I haven't filled up the MochaPod basket entirely with coffee. I get this comment a number of times. Now, it could be that that is the correct way to do it, um, but most likely I'm guessing the people who have left this comment have never experimented around with trying different amounts of coffee. Now, I actually have never endorsed uh, any amount of coffee going in this. I just didn't feel like reshooting the footage. The whole point was that the first little bit was like how to do it wrong, but I'm betting no one's actually experimented with this, so I'm gonna try experimenting with this uh, over the next few days and seeing whether or not it does impact the quality of the coffee. I'm expecting it mostly to just impact the strength but we'll see. So this guy holds about 26 grams of ground coffee of uh, the approximate roast I have. So we're gonna experiment down with smaller and smaller amounts of coffee and see if it actually does affect the flavor. So here we are, 20 grams of coffee in a six cup mocha pot. One thing I did notice is that the coffee seemed to brew a bit earlier, which doesn't surprise me, because as the 2008 uh, paper by Warren King states, uh, through their experiment, they found that the uh, puck resistance, the resistance of the grinds that are in the machine, uh, vary. Uh, that varies by as much as a factor of two in either direction whether you pack the grinds tightly or whether you pack them loosely. So with less puck resistance, you get, according to Darcy's law, a proportionate increase in the amount of uh, coffee flow at any given pressure. So I'll link to that video uh, where I describe the paper and its results here. It takes about the same, honestly, the overall satisfaction of this coffee is about what it was. Maybe it's a little bit weaker, a little bit more watered down. Yeah, so that's 20 grams, uh, and we'll experiment with other amounts tomorrow and the next day. Here we go, 15 grams of coffee, when 26 grams would completely fill up a pot basket. I'm expecting this to taste watery and crappy. I noticed that in the brewing process, very quickly went to uh, exploding over, bubbling over, uh, rather than giving me that gradual phase where I could keep the heat low, it just kind of instantly jumped to that, which makes sense because the puck resistance is a lot less when I've included that much less coffee. Honestly, it doesn't taste that bad. It tastes more like um, the strength of American coffee, like brew, brew coffee. It does taste a little burnt. Like I said, on account I wasn't able to remove the mocha pot uh, before it started bubbling up and over. But it doesn't taste that bad, just a little burnt and kind of weaker in strength. So this might be something to try if you want to make coffee that's kind of more in an American uh, strength. Which you could also do just by brewing it like normal using a full amount of coffee beans and then adding hot water afterwards. Definitely don't recommend adding more water into the pot than the fill line uh, on account of it's dangerous to fill beyond the fill valve that's supposed to be there as an escape uh, in case the thing builds up too much pressure. And also if you check out the 2008 paper by Warren King, uh, the more water you put in, ironically, the less coffee will be produced in the end. There's a complicated back suction effect uh, basically, if you put less air in, then that smaller amount of air has to expand that much more uh, as <clears throat> the water empties out. So really what actually happens is the amount of initial air you leave in the pot uh, is proportional to the amount of coffee you get at the end. So quite counterintuitive. So here we are with 24 grams. Yeah, it's about the same. About the same as fully filled the 26 grams. So 
this basically tastes the same. I think we're learning that the quality of the coffee is not highly sensitive to being completely, completely filled up, as long as it's mostly filled up. Thirty grams in the mocha pot, uh, and I've put enough grinds in with this number that it actually formed a little mountain that all the Italian experts with peremptory authority say you should do: form a little mountain out of grinds and then seal it. Now, I have found in the past, uh, and a little bit today, that this results in actually not getting a perfect seal around the gasket, and that's the general challenge there get some of the pressure leaking out the side. But I've been told by very authoritative sounding people, uh, this is the way to do it in Italy. It's about the same, you guys. It doesn't really matter that much whether you fill it up absolutely completely to the top, whether you put a little mountain in, whether it's like a millimeter below. If you mostly fill it up, you're gonna get around the same coffee with around the same strength. And if you put less in, you get something more of like an American grip brew. So thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, remember to stay coffee snobby.